of class eight. William Shakespeare was an English playwright, poet, and actor. I am here to recite his Mark Antony's funeral speech, which is taken from his play, Julius Caesar. In the play, Brutus, friend of Caesar, joins the Roman officials in the conspiracy to assassinate Caesar. Mark Antony, another friend of Caesar, promises Brutus that he will not blame the conspirators if he is allowed to make a speech on Caesar's funeral. Mark Antony's funeral speech. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I came to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do is after them. The good is oft, indeed with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus had told you Caesar was ambitious. If it were so, it was a grievous fault. And grievously had Caesar answered it. Here, under the leave of Brutus, and the rest for Brutus is an honorable man. So are they all, all honorable men? Come I to speak in Caesar's funeral. He was my friend, faithful and just to me. But Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. He had brought many captives home to Rome, whose ransoms did the general coffers fill. Did this in Caesar seem ambitious? When that the poor have cried, Caesar hath wept. Ambition should be made of sterner stuff. Yet Brutus says he was ambitious, and sure he is an honorable man. You all did see that on the Lupercal. I had thrice presented him a kingly crown, which he had thrice refused. Was this ambitious? Yet Brutus says he was ambitious, and sure, he's an honorable man. I speak not to disprove what Brutus spoke, but here I am to speak what I do know. You all did know him once, not without cause. What cause hold you then? to mourn for him. O oh, judgment, though art floods to the brood is beast, and men have lost their reasons. Bear with me, my heart is in the coffin with Caesar, and I must hope it comes back to me. Thank you. 